What is up guys? Today I had a question that I needed answered. I really wanted to know, what happens if you give a team all 99 potential? Also guys, if you could leave a like on the video, comment down below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I'm always looking for fun stuff to do on MLB The Show. Subscribe if you aren't already and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every single time I post. I appreciate it a ton, guys. Let's try and hit a thousand followers. It's a huge milestone, and I'm really hoping we can get there sometime in the future. So, in case you guys haven't played a lot of franchise or you just don't go that in depth, with it, each player here you can see their age overall and a bunch of different things about them. But you can see here their potential. And if we go into edit player here on Jacob Stallings, we can see that each player has a potential rating here and what we did is we bumped every single player on the pirates roster up to 99 and they're not real clear about exactly what this does but i think that it should mean that each player here could reach up to a 99 overall and what we also did with this to try and hopefully keep all these guys on our team for a long time so what we also did here is we bumped every single player their contract to 10 years so hopefully they stay on the team for a long time and if you go through it here, we can see that every single player on their team, including all minor leaguers, have a 10-year contract here. And if we go through it again, we can see every single player on here should have a potential. Uh, I'm not going to do too much beyond this. I'm hoping that most players stay with the team for a long time. But we're honestly just going to see how it progresses. So what we did here is you can see we're the Madison Cows. And what we did is we actually took over for the Pirates in the NL Central. And we have every single player that's on their team and their minors and everything. But because this team is the Pirates, they are probably not going to do well for a couple of years. I'm expecting like maybe two or three years of being pretty mediocre. And then as the players progress, maybe they'll uh, make it to the postseason, maybe win a World Series. I guess we'll uh, just have to see. I also here, I turned everything to auto except for trades just because I don't want any of our players to get traded away. But everything else is going to be handled by the computer. And yeah, we'll just sim this year. I'll probably see you guys at the end of the season unless there's anything interesting that happens. So as expected here, the cows finish 62 and 100. We're not making the postseason this year. Uh, I wasn't expecting us to. Pretty bad, honestly worse than I thought we would do. Um, we'll stop simulating here though and we're just gonna take a look to see. We apparently have league leaders and awards here. So Kevin Newman actually led the league in hits here with 182. And it looks like Adam Frazier and Cabrian Hayes won gold gloves. We'll just take a look and see if there's anything else. So there's Adam Frazier and Cabrian Hayes. And yeah, no other awards. But just taking a look at the roster here, I mean, clearly we've had guys improve. I don't remember quite where these guys were at. But we have Cabrian Hayes here, 85 overall. Adam Frazier, 84. Jacob Stallings, 84. And I'm sure a lot of these guys have improved. I just don't quite remember where they're at beforehand. So something I'm not really going to worry about here is we are going to get some players claimed off waivers. And we'll probably pick up a few players here and there that aren't 99 overall potential. But I just want to see how that beginning roster plays out and how the uh, minor leaguers play out and everything with all those guys. I'm not going to worry too much about like bumping new guys up to 99 potential just because I think we should have enough people on the team at 99 potential to uh, make it interesting and season two here we can take a look at the roster and i'm gonna try and remember like cabrian hayes being an 85 overall adam frazier 84 jacob stallings 84 and i guess we'll just see kind of where they're at at the end of the year and just going to the bottom of the list here i can already see that we already have uh one new guy on the team here and i think that we probably picked him up for one of the drafts during the year but yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about getting those guys the 99 potential because I think the team should be all right without it. And yeah, we'll get into season two here. See how it goes. I'm not expecting much from this team. Maybe a little bit better. I think we went 62 and 100 last season. So uh, maybe a little bit better than that now that the team is improving. But I'm going to try and remember that we had, I think, two 85s and an 84 overall on the roster at the beginning of the season. Bruh. This team, I thought we would do maybe a little bit better than last year, but we actually got worse by one game. So I don't think we actually have any league leaders this year. So no league leaders. I don't think we have any awards this year either. So Adam Frazier almost won another gold glove. Cabrian Hayes was up there as well. But man, no awards at all for us this year. Well, this, this roster has got to have improved though, right? 
Yeah, okay. Okay, wow. Um, Cabrian Hayes and Adam Frazier are both up to an 89 overall. Jacob Stallings up to an 87. John Ryan Murphy up to an 83. And we also have a bunch of guys in the high 70s here. So yeah, I mean, the team is clearly improving, but just not really showing it on the record, I guess. And so before season three starts here, let's take a look. So we got two 89s, an 87, an 83, and an 80. So we have five guys in the 80s right now with a couple pushing 90. And we'll see, I guess, where that's at the end of the season. And maybe and maybe the team will not be above 100 losses this year. I certainly hope not with how the team's improving. But uh, I guess we'll see. Well, at the end of year three, I mean, I can already tell that this team is doing better. Uh, we're 73 and 89. That's an improvement of, I think, like 22 games. Yeah, that's an improvement of like 22 games there. So pretty good. Uh, we'll take a look then at like the league leaders and everything. So it doesn't look like we have any league leaders here. And no league leaders here. Awards. We got Adam Frazier once again almost winning a gold glove. Cabrian Hayes up there once again as well. And yeah, that's it for awards. But let's take a look at our roster here. Ooh, Adam Frazier and Cabrian Hayes bumping up four spots to 93 overalls. Jacob Stalling, 88. John Ryan Murphy, 86. So before, I think we only had five. I think it's the top five guys were 80s. And now we have and now we have 11 people, 80 overall or higher. And a ton more sitting right at 79 or 78. So yeah, will the Dodgers defeat the Angels in the World Series? And I guess we'll just head into season four here. We did have somebody retire here. Dustin Garneau, catcher. Uh, I don't think he was on our MLB team. Hold up. I, I got to check this, but I think we just signed Shohei Otani. What? All right. I, I got to see this. Yeah. We signed Shohei Otani. Okay. Um, so I think what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to bump Shohei Otani's potential up to 99 because I mean, it's two away. Like, why, why not? And we signed him to six years. That, that's probably good enough, right? Yeah, that's probably good enough. I don't think we'll mess with anybody else, though, because, I mean, like, the only other guys who are at, like, C potential uh, probably won't be on the team for a while. Yeah, no, actually, I think what I'll do here is if they're on our 40-man roster, like, at the start of the year, I think we'll just bump their potential up because why not? Oh, everybody who's on our 40 man roster here to have a uh, high enough potential, which is sh should be interesting. We got Brad Boxberger at a, a potential here. Anthony Descalafini. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, you're going to have a uh, 99 potential. Yeah, you know what? That, seem that seems fair enough. Fair enough. I think everybody on here will have a potential now. And so to start the year, 293 overalls. We added Shohei Otani in the offseason. Great pickup by us. Um, and we have how many and how many like uh, 89 to 80 potentials do we have here? So we have 12 people who are 80 or higher, but not higher than 90. And so I imagine that that will be higher by the uh, end of the season, unless a couple of these guys get bumped up to 90s, which uh, like Shohei probably will. Jacob Stallings might. But yeah, I mean, two 93s and a bunch of 80s here and a bunch of high 70s. I feel like this team might go above 500 this year. You know what? I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet that this team will go above 500, maybe even a push for the postseason this year. But uh, we'll see. Oh, man. So this team, 86 and 76. We did finish above 500 by 10 games, but uh, not good enough to make the postseason, unfortunately. And I think in the All-Star break, we were five games above 500. So ending 10 games of 5, 500, we are uh, fairly consistent this season, I feel like. We'll stop simulating here, though. And I think from what I saw, I don't think that uh, Shohei Otani didn't do that well. Yeah, 5 and 12 this year. And nearly a five, actually above a 5.5 ERA. But Adam Frazier, Cabrian Hayes both increased to 95 overall. Shohei did break that barrier. He's a 90 now. John Ryan Murphy, a 89. A couple of guys right on the cusp here of being a 90s, but we have 23 players on this team who are in between an 80 and an 89 overall, 
and I'm sure that almost everybody else on this list is like 79 to probably maybe the lowest might be 60. Okay, no, I mean, we, we have a couple of guys down here who are really just Adrian Turner, 49 overall. But, but most of these guys are like 70 or higher, a high majority of these players. And we'll take a look at the roster here. I think everybody on here should be a potential. Yeah, everybody on here is a potential. And our lowest guy in the team actually is still uh, on the 40-man roster is the Sclafini. And he is a 65 overall. But uh, let's see. It looks like we won some awards. I don't see any league leaders. Ooh, though, let's check out these awards. Shohei Otani and Brian Hayes both winning gold gloves. Nobody in the top three for most valuable player. Same for Cy Young. Rookie of the year, though, here. David Ruiz coming up and almost winning it. Shohei winning that gold glove. Adam Frazier again in the top three. Brian Hayes winning his second one, I believe. Oh, okay. And Shohei won Silver Slugger as well. Silver Slugger pitcher. Yeah, I have a feeling he might win that uh, quite a bit. Helen Moran up there for first base. And that's it. So, yeah, not making the postseason this year, but uh, how close were we? Oh, wow. Okay. So, it was a tight race. We finished tied with the Brewers here. Three games back on the NL Central. And the wild card, we are only out by one and a half games. And that's just because the Phillies and Braves division was stacked. What? Bro, there's no way. The Marlins clinched it 93 and 69. I, I got to see who's on this Marlins team. Bro. Okay, uh, they have Rafi Devers and Lucas Giolito, Kettle Marte, Sixto Sanchez, Tim Anderson, but what? Man, this team is... I can't believe that, that the Marlins are out here winning the uh, division. They had the second best record in the MLB, too. Well, we'll get into, I think, season five here. Oh, man... Seriously, Todd Frazier retires. Was he one of our, our 90s or was that uh, Adam Frazier? No, okay, so he'd been regressing quite a bit. I think he, I'm assuming he still had the uh, 99 overall potential, but. Okay. Um, Cows go out and sign Chris Paddock as well, 90, 91 overall already. Uh, I guess we will bump him up to a 99 potential if he's not already. All right, so heading into 2025 here, we'll take a look at our roster. So yeah, Adam Frazier, Cabrian Hayes, 95 overalls with the addition of Chris Paddock here, 91 overall. Okay, so he's at a 91 potential. We'll just bump up to a 99. He's on the 40-man roster. And so now we have four 90 overalls or higher on the team, and I think we should have the same... 23 uh 89s and 90s but we'll take a look at the 40 man roster here and yeah we're gonna bump these guys up and just get them to their 99 potential because they are on the 40 man roster i think this year we should make the playoffs barring some absurd run from a different nl central team or like the nl east getting two of the wild card spots but yeah i'm thinking that we make the playoffs this year and hopefully we can do well Ooh, all right. So we finished 87 and 75. I think that's better than last year by like maybe a game or two. But uh, we did make it to the postseason this year. We're a wild card team. We're playing the Braves in the first round of the playoff. Uh, we'll stop simulating though and just check out how we're doing. So we do have a league leader this year and hopefully some decent awards. Ooh, Cabrian Hayes, man. 324 with 9.1 war. Man, Colin Moran also up there as well. Dude, what? Cabrian Hayes is not even in the top three for MVP voting. Batting 324, finishing the year with 9.1 war. That is absurd. Look at this, dude. I guess he didn't have as many RBIs like 131, 125, 112 to 99. 
He did hit 30 home runs though. And yep, Shohei Otani winning his second gold glove in a row. Chris Paddock also up there as well. Otani though had 66 putouts and 13 assists. That that doesn't feel right. Adam Frazier once again in the top three for gold glove at second base. Brian Hayes in the top three again. And then, yep, Shohei Otani wins his second Silver Slugger in a row. Brian Hayes coming in a second there for third base. Finally, the first year we're in the postseason here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and just kind of simulate through it from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do quick manage, but we're not actually going to do anything in it besides, like, simulate. Ooh, all right. Off to a good start here. 2-0 after the first. Three oh. Three one. Two to three. And we won. So we're taking on the Dodgers here in the division series. Man, Brian Goodwin coming through here. Two for three with a home run and three RBIs, a double on the day. Pretty good game from him. Chris Paddock going to full nine. I didn't even realize. And we'll sit through the first three here with the Dodgers. Just see how it goes. Ooh, so it's two to one here and we'll do quick manage with this one again just see how we do one nothing man come on man miguel gonzalez cannot be doing this well against us one to one all right we tied it up two to one all right take the lead three to one all right okay okay um Six to three, not looking so good here. Seven to three. And the cows have been eliminated from the playoffs. All right, well, we made it to the division series. That's not that bad. Um, that sucks. All right, well, that's all right. Um, I'm going to take a look, though, at how our guys did in the postseason here. I don't, I guess I didn't check this at the end of the year. Jeez. Brian Hayes batting 167 in the postseason here. Adam Frazier batting 167 as well. Shohei Otani has a 167 whip. Okay, uh, we just didn't do that well in the postseason. Um, but after the 2025 season here, Brian Hayes moves up to 97 overall. Adam Frazier moves up to 96. I think Otani and Paddock each gain one or two. And let's count the amount of players here we have from 89 to 80. I think I counted that right. We either have 30 or 31, but I think we have 31 people between 80 and 89 potential. We have 30 or 31. Well, we'll get on to the end of the year here. Dodgers defeat the Yankees. I think that's their second win in a row for the World Series. So the start of 2026 rolls around here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the roster. I don't think we sign anybody in the offseason. I didn't see anybody at least. But we'll take a look at the 40-man roster here. See how many people we need to change. All right. So to start the year here, we got Cabrian Hayes, 97. Adam Frazier, 96. Shohei at a 92. And Chris Paddock here at a 92. So only four guys above 90 here. I'm excited to see, though, where they end the year. I feel like Cabrian might be able to get up to a 99 this year. And hopefully some of these 89 guys can get bumped up and maybe make it above a 90 as well. But uh, I guess we'll we'll see what dude so the cows finish at 83 and 79 uh worse than last year just barely above 500 and we don't make the postseason this year man so mvp here nobody in the top three nobody in the top three for cy young either shohei otani though wins his third gold glove in a year once again getting absurd numbers i'm sure maybe those are being factored in from like a different position as well adam frazier though winning i don't know number gold glove but he, he wins one again Brian Hayes wins another one. And Otani here wins another Silver Slugger pitcher. I think that's his, yeah, it's his third in a row, but maybe even more. And that's it for awards. So, whoa, what? Cabrian Hayes is going down, man. What? All right, well, Cabrian Hayes is going down here to a 96. Shohei and Tony Walters actually end up passing Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier going down as well. But now we have we have nine guys over 90 overall, and 
and we now have 27 guys who are between 80 and 89 overall but man i really didn't expect cabrian hayes to go down i thought he's gonna keep going up it is only one overall you can see is regressing here a little bit but something i also just realized is his potential has gone down from a 99 to a 96 so i think i'm not gonna mess with them then if they do start going down i'm not gonna actually mess with it too much just because it would take a long time for me to actually go through and bump keep bumping everybody else up to a 99 so yeah though i mean he's still a 96 overall uh really good and this team is continuing to get better i can't believe that this team though finished and, and and didn't make a playoff spot well let's move on to the 2027 season see how we can uh fare in that one i don't think we signed anybody new but i how many players do we have above 90 so we still have nine players above 90 and hopefully at the end of the season that is quite a bit more but i guess we'll see how it goes awesome so we did go on a little bit of a run at the end of the season 89 and 73 here and we're gonna be taking on the marlins in the division series so we won the nl central that's good and we'll we'll take a look here at the league leaders and awards only league leader it looks like is david ruiz with stolen bases here still still nobody in the top three for mvp and same with cy young man shohei otani winning another gold glove that's four in a row Brian Hayes winning his second in a row. Brian Reynolds winning one in center field. Shohei Otani winning his fourth silver slugger in a row. Colin Moran coming in second there. Pete Alonso beating him out. Ooh, and let's take a look at everybody's overalls here. So Cabrian does go back up to a 97. Shohei at a 96. Chris Pack 94. G Juan Bay at 92. Ooh. And yeah, how many guys do we have above 90 now? We have 18 players on our team who are above 90 overall and how many do we have from 89 to 80 we have 17 from 80 to 89 so that is a ton of players man who are doing really well all right so we win one and drop one to the marlins here we drop a second one and oh it's gonna go to a game five here all right let's see let's see if we can beat miami and advance to the uh nlcs here oh we take a two nothing lead here in the third can we hold on to it though? Oh, two to one. Chris Pack throwing a gem here, man. Ah, uh, I spoke too soon. It's two to two. Okay, it's gonna go to extras here. Hopefully we can score here and uh clinch a spot in the NLCS. Oh! We put up a three spot in the tenth, but they tied up! We put up two, and they can't put up two more. We advance to the NLCS here, and we're going to be taking on the Dodgers again, man. Last time, they crushed our dreams in the NLDS. Maybe they won't in the NLCS this year. All right, so it's one to one here. One to two. Two to two. Three to two. All right, let's see it. Can we advance to the World Series for the first time in the Cows history? All right. We got Walker Bueller facing off here against Shohei Otani. Two aces, I would assume. And we take a 1-0 lead in the second. I'm hoping that Shohei Otani can power his way to a victory here. We put up a six spot, man. A six spot versus Walker Bueller here in the fourth to make it seven to nothing all right i'm confident in this there's no way shohei otani blows this all right bueller's out of energy now he gives up one more run we put up five in the ninth to make it 13 nothing oh and he does allow one run i think but uh yeah we're advancing to the world series here man we're taking on the red Sox or the tigers cabrian hayes though two home runs three rbis shohei otani does get the win here and walker bueller zero and two in the postseason man so we're gonna be playing detroit the cows versus detroit here and let's take a look two to one three to one could the cows win a world series here man all right, we got Chris Paddock, 2-0 in the postseason, going up against Michael Fulmer, 
0-1 with a 14 ERA. Okay, I'm confident. We're, we're winning this game. We're winning the World Series right here, man. Let's put it on him early. Chris, please do your job here, man. You're so good. He gives up one run. We bring it right back. He gives up four. We put back two. Come on, Chris. You got to stop doing this, man. All right, 6-3 here. Oh! We tie it up, man. In the seventh, it's six to six. They put up two more. And we lose. All right, well, uh, I think it's three to two now. Juan Soto on the Tigers. Didn't realize that. So it's three to two. We'll go into this game. We got Mike Soroka, one and three in the postseason versus Shohei Otani, man. All right, Shohei Otani might get, the, uh, get another clinch victory here. I thought it told me that uh, Otani was pitching. Is he not? Okay. Sean, Sean Poppins pitching. All right. Well, let's see how he does. That's interesting. So they put up one in the fourth here. Get two more in the fifth. One more in the sixth. Oh, but we tie it up in the sixth. All right. They put up two more. And oh my God. We go up by four here, and all right. I want to go into this game. Can I? Can I go into this game? All right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go into this game here. It's six to eight. We're three outs away from winning a World Series, and we still got Sean popping in the on the mound here. Oh, I forgot this was our stadium. <laughs> we're we're literally in the middle of a cornfield here. All right. Um, so team select. We're not gonna choose a team here. I think this should work. Start of the inning, and up next is yeah. I was kind of hoping I could uh Will Craig. simulate. Oh, Ooh, there we go. That's out that number that one here. Right Two there. outs away from winning the World Series, man. Defense, I knew this team could do it. Team but okay, Sean Poppins being taken out. I mean, why would you? Why would you not let him finish this? Why would you not let this man finish this game? You've left him in here for eight, eight and a third, and you take him out with two outs left to go in the World Series. What? All right, Kyle, Kyle Crick coming in. Sure. Sure, man. Kyle Crick, Kyle Crick must be the coach's son or something, man. If uh, if they're bringing him in here to finish out the World Series. There we go. That should be out number two here. A nice view of the corn in the back. All right. 125 average here. All right. 125 average. Come on, Kyle Crick. You can do this. Whew. Strike number one. All right, Kyle, we need this. Don't let this go to game seven. All right, here it is. Strike three. Cows, World Series champions. Apparently, there maybe is some fans. There it is, baby. Get there, get there. There it is. World Series champions for the Cows. 2020-something. Ah, uh, that's awesome, dude. I, it's at six down there, but ignore that. The cows have not won a World Series before. It is so weird, though, in this park because there's no fans. They, there's no cheering when they win the World Series. All right, man. The cows win the World Series in 2027. It only took six years to do it and a roster full of 99s here. The addition of Shohei Otani, Chris Paddock definitely helped. But, man... I mean, it's insane. If you put all your players up to 99 potential, it's almost like they're, they're guaranteed to turn out pretty good. Thank you for watching, though, guys. If you did enjoy the video, uh, make sure you leave a like on it. Comment down below any more interesting ideas you guys have for videos. I'm always keeping an eye out for fun things to do on MLB The Show. If you enjoyed the video, also make sure you subscribe. And if you feel like it, turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I post. And I'll see you guys in the next video.